It's Morphin Time! Hello, this is Sanat here, and welcome to my Top 10 Megazords list. This list is going to be a little different. Uh, I did do a tier list of Megazords, but I only included main Megazords in that, whereas this is going to be all Megazords, regardless that they're standalones. So there's actually going to be some combinations in here, which I thought would kind of mix it up a little bit, make it exciting. Now, while some of these may not be a surprise to those that have known me in real life, this is something I want to make a little bit surprising and a little bit interesting. Other qualifications for this list is it's mostly we're talking about design, not necessarily toys. Like if there's an amazing design that just is a terrible toy, we're not going to worry about the toy part of it as much. But I will be representing it with toys that are either the American or Japanese Bandai releases. That just spoiled the fact there's no Hasbro releases on here. But there are, you know, different versions, but we're just going to use whichever version I have as my main on the display because it's on the display. But... This should give you kind of an insight into what kind of Megazords I like, and I'd love to hear your list in the comments down below because I don't think any of us are going to agree on a complete top 10 100%, and I'd like to hear more from you and have a discussion. Also hit that like button and the subscribe button while you're down there because you don't want to miss out on future videos, and the like button lets me know that you like to see this type of video. That was a terrible pun, I apologize. But without further ado, let's get to it. We're going to run down the top 10 favorite Megazords. Regardless, if they're a standalone Megazord or not. Number 10, the Delta Max Megazord. And yes, I did mean it about the combinations, because I love the way these two robots came together into this combination. This is a combination, of course, of the Delta Squad Megazord and the Omega Max Megazord, and they really just pull together really nicely overall. Uh, it, there's a lot of cohesion to it, a lot of very much uh, intentional design. You know, having the four limb connections of the Delta Squad Megazord being the arms and then the torso supporting all of the Omega Max Megazord. It just comes together really nice and I like it honestly a lot more than the individual robots, which is definitely something you look for in a combination. It looks very clean, it looks very nice, it just comes together incredibly well. So just because I like the combination doesn't mean the individual robots aren't, you know, good. I mean, they are. I think both of them look great. I just think they look better together. And honestly, just the combination just makes them better than the sum of their parts. In fact, the best part about these is not just the main combination, but the secondary combination. You can simulate the Delta Squad Megazord riding the Omega Max Megazord as it does in the series. And it's a pretty good approximation because, well, it's not perfect because these hands aren't clearly these hands here and there's no real good point in the ratchet and he's kind of just looking down. The way they did the legs where it's like you're attaching the leg to the side so that from certain angles, it looks like you're actually having this thing ride it. And in general, it makes for a nice vehicle mode, which is pretty stable considering it is a giant Megazord on top of a giant motorcycle. And that helps because it's got little wheels on each side of this. But overall, I mean, I love the fact that they can combine in more than one way. And I especially like the way that this turned out as an option because it's pretty unique in the world of Megazords. And to top this whole combination off, the gimmick from the Delta Squad Megazord still works. I'm not a big fan of light gimmicks or electronics in uh, Megazords, but that is probably my favorite of them all. But overall, that is my number 10 pick. The runner-up to number 9 is going to be the Ninja Mega Falcon Zord, because while I love this, and I love this combination, I got a lot of nostalgia for it, I like the individual robots, there's one that I like a little bit more, and that would be the Shogun Mega Falcon Zord, because uh, eight-barrel shoulder cannons. It was always thought this was kind of cool, because this was something that you couldn't even tell was intentionally designed into the mecha, and it may not have been, but... It really does work out because while well, you have basically the Falcon Zord just going in between the shoulders of the Shogun Megazord, and the way it combines is pretty simple. But I love the Shogun Megazord. It's this big, blocky, castle-looking dude. And I, I just I love the way it came out, especially with the five individual robots. And I will say that the uh, Falcon Zord does make a better pairing for the Ninja Zords because they're all animals, and he's not a humanoid animal like the ones of the Shogun Zords. But the overall in presentation of just the massive cannons going to work here, as opposed to just the Falcon Zord attaching to the back of the Ninja Megazord, I definitely like this one more overall. 
and that's why it's on the, the spot. But the Ninja Mega Falcon Zord is up there. It's just around the same spot, but this one just edges it out for cannon potential. And yeah, it's pretty cool, and I honestly really love this combo. The runner-up to number eight would be the Drive Max Ultra Zord, and you're going to see where I'm going here. I like this one, and it is the ultimate combination. However, I prefer the Super Drive Max Megazord is definitely just a step above for me. And that's because I find the simplicity to be really great. It's clearly the Drive Max Megazord, kind of turned around, but you get the extra added limbs of the initial construction vehicles. And because they're all construction vehicles and not like a jet thrown in, it really comes together more cohesively. Uh, and I just, I really like the way this looks, especially with the head design. Because while I do like the more jet vibes of the Ultra Zord, the Super Drive Max really has this cool head crest. I like the way that the crane has become horns, and I just, I like horns as a theme in Megazord head design. But I just think it comes together really, really nice. A uh, somewhat related note, isn't it weird how, like, most of the, like main zords from overdrive or like construction base and suddenly there's just like a submarine a car a gyro and a big ass jet it it's just it's weird how like a majority of them are construction vehicles and then the rest of them are just like you know what, or something else and then like the flashpoint megazord and the battle fleet or like other vehicles it just there was a construction thing going in someone's mind they just didn't have enough to fill it out while i do legitimately like all of the overdrive megazord combinations they really just a great line of Zords. The Super Drive Max just is my favorite of those combos. I love it. Number seven is my favorite of the Wild Zord combos, the Isis Megazord. I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. Uh, this thing is one of the craziest combos because it came really late in the end of the series, but uh, it kind of uses pre-existing mecha um, or Zords in the way because the giraffe had been there since the early days. The Gazelle, I think it was the Gazelle. That's what came later, and we had the Rhino and the Armadillo. Poor little Armadillo here is barely contributing. But then they brought it together with the, uh, the, the Falcon here. Because this really just pulled together like a whole complete look. I love little things like the eyes and the wings, because that's just such a cool design. Because it's like, oh, hey, there's the wings. But for an attack, it reveals these eyes, which is just really impressive. And just the overall way that this is something that, you know, as watching the show, you're like, okay, cool, you got these other limbs that have been used with the other combinations. But they stylistically go together incredibly nice on this final combo of the Isis Megazord. Uh, it just looks really great, and I love the way that the torso worked out for the Falcon, especially with this head design, because I think this head design is so cool. Uh, I love the horn. I love the whole look of it. It just comes together really, really nice. And that's what's really impressive about this combination, is it's sort of kind of a last-minute thing, but yet it ends up being probably the nicest looking of the Wild Force Megazord combinations. And that's what makes it number seven on my list, because honestly, this thing just looks incredible. Number six, the Galaxy Megazord Lights of Orion armor. Because, look, I like the Galaxy Megazord quite a bit. But when you add the Lights of Orion armor, it adds a regal presence to this thing that previously wasn't there. I mean, look, you can... Let me just take the armor off. Sadly, the armor is only released with the Japanese version, but taking this parts off, I mean, it's it's still cool. Uh, just pretend his horns are here. I have them. They're just in a box because Lights of Orion. You know, it's a cool, stocky, you know, very built robot. But when you add this armor, it just... It really adds something to it. Uh, there's just something about the lights of Orion that really make it work. And I love it. Uh, this may be just partial nostalgia for Lost Galaxy. Um, or the fact I didn't have a deluxe Galaxy Megazord as a kid. I got one later in life. Um, but having it with the lights of Orion armor, it just is an impressive beast. And speaking of beasts... I love how the Galacta Beasts all look really good on their own. They don't just look like component of robot. Like, you can't really tell that this is the torso. I mean, you got the big old pegs here. But, you know, he's got size and shape to him outside of just being a giant block of a torso. Even for the arm components, they have body shapes to them. I mean, that guy's the legs, but it all really comes together quite nice, and that's what makes it one of my favorites as well. Not just the fancy armor, but the overall package, because... Yeah, these are really cool how they actually end up transforming. 
Well, I haven't been highlighting transformations. I just wanted to do this one because I always love it. I love how the gorilla does this crazy split thing where it comes down, it splits apart, and now he's he's a pair of legs. Uh, and it's really kind of clever and really smart. And then in addition to that, he's holding the fists for the arms underneath, which is actually kind of a nice way to get those out of the way. The way the arms work is pretty simple, but pretty effective overall. Like I said, they don't really look like just arms. And then once you get them uh, sort of lined up here and plug that fist on, it's like, oh, that's actually a pretty convincing arm. It's just really good design work that I feel like is sort of lacking from modern Megazord design because it just feels really simple, but at the same time, it's effective. It really does work itself out. And yeah, the Condor is essentially just a back piece, but unlike something, you know, like some other Zords where they'll just plug onto the back and do nothing, the feet actually fill out the torso, so the Condor is contributing to the overall look. But the one that I like transforming the most is actually the Lion, because it's just kind of nutty. Sort of reminds me of the Bear Zord from the Ninja Megazord, where it does this collapse thing to become a torso, but it's sort of more effective in a lot of ways, because it just really comes together nice, neat, and clean, uh, just like that with, you know, that's a nice block of a torso. And then you get that on, you plug these on, and then you can bring down the face, and you're gonna plug on the normal horns, or like we've been discussing, I'll put on the lights of Orion armor, just like that. And it honestly, it's just a great Megazord, and it's one that's really held up the test of time. It's one of the sturdiest, even if the Bandai America version is lacking some of the die casts that the Japanese one had, it's still a really solid robot, and can't say that for every Megazord. So number five on my list is the Astro Delta Megazord. One of the coolest combinations by far. Uh, it takes everything that was great about the Astro Megazord, but then gives him the Delta Megazord to wear as a suit of armor, and it just really is a cool, nice, clean look. One of the things with the Astro Megazord itself is it's a very sleek robot with very little, like, you know, back kibble, and even the Astro Delta doesn't go too far. I mean, there's hardly anything hanging back here. This thing's pretty sturdy all the way down to the legs. Now, transforming it toy-wise can be a little scary with these legs here, but once you get this thing together, it just looks impressive. I love the shoulder cannons made out of the Delta Megazord's arms. Really cool. I love the firing fist gimmick, which is not, I'm not launching it because I don't want anything to break, but it's kind of neat that they put in firing fists into a Megazord. Um, I think firing fist is like a classic Sentai thing and classic super robot thing in general. Actually, I think it's one of the only times it was in Power Rangers. But anyways, you know, the light and sound gimmicks still work because I got the buttons here to push the buttons underneath, which is a positive. I don't have any batteries in this at the moment. But yeah, I mean, it's just a really nice combination of two really cool looking robots. I really do love the Astro and the Delta Megazords on their own, but the Astro Delta Megazord is just a really cool combination of the two, taking the best elements of each and fusing it together. Also on top of that, I just love the two separate spaceships. They're some of the coolest designs, and I love how the Delta Megazord is a, well, it, it's a Delta. Um, but yeah, no, it's just, it's really cool having, you know, these robots, and I love the way that they combine, and everything's just wonderful. So overall, the Astro Delta Megazord, it's just fantastic, and that's why it's number five on this list. All right, number four, the Thunder Megazord. Now, I'm showing off here because this is my Super Sentai Artisan Dyrano. It looks nicer than any Thunder Megazord toy that's ever existed, but... Uh, this guy, I've liked, I just love the concept of this, and I love the execution in a lot of ways, um, because when it comes down to it with this guy, I, I do love that armor up aspect, because this is the fully combined Thunder Megazord when the Red Dragon Thunder Zord is on the inside, um, and just the overall look, I, I just love this samurai warrior look to him, uh, that staff is totally in the way of that shot. But just in the general nature, this thing is huge. Like, this is one of the biggest Megazords in a lot of ways, uh, especially for, like, what is a main Megazord. Um, and I, I, I just love it. Um, and I, I just, the overall aesthetics of this is quite, quite impressive in a lot of ways. And yeah, when you look at the individual components of the Thunder Megazord, it gives a regal look to it. And I think that's something that other Megazords don't have. Just the way the golds and the accent details, it gives it just... It has this imperial look to it uh, because of Die Ranger being based off Chinese mythology, so that carries forward to the Thunder Megazord. Um, and yeah, you know, when you're looking at this group of Zords, they just look really nice together because they're sort of 
got that regal mythical sense to them, uh, which plays into later combinations like the giant uh, dropping thunder ultra zord. It's not that exciting, but it gives that sort of regal palace look, which I think they were going for. I also want to add that the red dragon thunder zord itself could have ended up on this list without the other thunder zords because of how great it is. But I thought, let's do the full package. But this dragon mode is still one of the most impressive individual zord components I've ever seen. So overall, that's what makes the thunder megazord my number four pick. I just, I love just the overall package of it especially the final completed combination here. It just looks incredible. So number three, we have the Rescue Megazord. Now this is one of my favorite Megazord designs ever. And it's one that I, I don't even think I acknowledged as a kid because I just didn't see as much turbo as I did other seasons. But just, I love this thing. Uh, and I can't tell you exactly why I love it so much. It is incredibly chunky. It is incredibly blocky, but I love its versatility because not only do each of these vehicles transform into vehicles, uh, they each turn into individual robots, which I think is just really cool. And then on top of that, like I talk about some other uh, Megazord designs, I love it when it's nice and clean. Like, this is a very intentional design. There's not a lot of extra stuff hanging off of it. And while it doesn't traditionally combine with anything else, it just swaps limbs with the Turbo Megazord, I, I do love the Rescue Megazord. Um, and I do, again, I love the gimmick of the... Uh, the individual limbs becoming robots. I'm going to show it off on one. I have a repaired arm joint, so I really don't want to mess with this guy too much. And that may be a case if you've been watching this video and wondering, wait, why didn't he turn in these into the individual components but others? Some of these zords are in better shape than others, and we'll leave it at that. But anyways, you see you got like a vehicle. This one's like a car, but then it also turns into a, a rescue shovel. And they are all rescue themed for the most part. Like two of them are like construction vehicles for getting rid of debris, which helps in rescue efforts. Um, so I do like the consistency of the theme, but I loved the fact that this had sort of like that Transformers combiner element where you have individual components that each have their own vehicle mode, each have their own robot mode, and then also combine. And despite all of this extra stuff that it does for each component, it doesn't ruin the design of the combined robot, which I think is definitely a positive. So when it comes down to it, I love this design and I love this Megazord. And specifically, I did do the original because I like the dual guns, even though those weren't used as much as the giant Artillotron guns, which uh, I would also pull down from the shelf, except, I, again, things are old and things are fragile, but just take my word for it, the Rescue Megazord is quite great, and I do really love this thing. Number two, the Super Train Megazord, which I can't even sit down to show off because I had to back the camera up a whole lot. This guy is the absolute massive sort of carrier zord for light speed rescue. And I do mean carrier zord because other carrier zords like Titanus or Tor were just big things that carried stuff. This is a train that carries stuff but has its own robot mode. And it's impressive. I mean, look at this guy. Uh, I got this for my birthday in 2000. I was a very, very happy five-year-old. Uh, and I'm still like a very, very happy 26-year-old. Um, this thing is just one of the coolest, uh, biggest, most impressive Zords we've ever gotten. And I love its functionality. And I'd love to show it off more. Uh, and I've always kind of wanted to do a video on the Super Train itself. I think I did one on the Rescue Megazord a long time ago. I love the light speed line. I love the light speed line so much. It was the light speed Megazord, not the Rescue Megazord. Anyways, the light speed Megazord... The Solar Zord, the Omega Megazord, I love them all, but the Super Train takes the cake. It's just, it's impressively sized. I mean, I don't know how else to, like, describe it besides it's huge. Um, I don't know. Here's the Turbo Megazord, which was the standard Megazord size for a while, and this guy's massive. Um, he's just really big. And I, I just, I really love it. Um, again, when we talk about designs coming together, all of them are trains. It's consistent to a theme. I love that they're all primarily black because then you get the accents of each ranger color, but you don't get it overwhelming. So it makes a nice, consistent, sleek robot, and it's just amazing. I don't know how else to put it. Um, I also love little details, like you can flip this down for the missile rack. Uh, if you put it on the front of the fist, it works even better. And just all that little stuff there. It's just, I don't know how else to describe it besides amazing. And number one... Of course, the Titan Megazord. I have talked about how much I love this thing on the channel before, I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah, no, I, I absolutely love this Megazord. This is not one I've had nostalgic attachment to or anything. Heck, I even wasn't even watching Mystic Force when it was on. Um, 
admittedly, when it was on, I thought the magic idea was stupid. And I that was a mistake, because I actually really love Mystic Force, now that I've gone back and watched it. I went back and watched it, like, I think it was during Mega Force I watched more of it. And I think it was, like, during Overdrive, I caught some reruns of Mystic Force. I was like, wait a second, this is actually good. And I eventually did track down a Titan Megazord, and I love this thing. This is, this is the top of the line. I'm just going to gush for a minute. First of all, uh, it's a magical theme. Everybody's a mythical creature on brand, uh, on point. I love the sorcerer's hat thing going on here, and I love how it tips up as part of the transformation. Um, it's a little chunky in the front, sure, but, I mean, look at the back here. You got these wings. The wings fold out to be even larger. I love how they're always folded out when they combine in the show, and then it stashes away. But you can get this really impressive wingspan on this guy, which is just super cool, but then if you don't want all that wing messing with your space, you can just, boom, Love that. Love the options. Um, there's no major combinations it does, just like with uh, like the Galaxy Megazord, but that's fine. But uh, the individual components are also fantastic. Look at how unique and interesting each individual component is. No two are alike. You got things like the mermaid, well, the mermaid tail and everything, you know, having that there. The Garuda does just literally have wings for arms, and that's cool. You know, the Phoenix is more of your sign of standard robot, but you know what? It works. The Fairy is one of the most interesting pieces because look how small it is. That's one of the smallest uh, individual Zord components, especially for a Ranger. And then, of course, the Taurus is just massive. But I love things like the Taurus's horns folding up into the Sorcerer hat because that's where the actual Megazord head is. That is what you call really cool and interesting design. And that's what I love about this. On top of that, the mermaid's tail, its trident, the phoenix's sword, and the Taurus's axe is what makes up the sword for the Megazord. Can this get any better? The mystic dragon mode is the coolest thing ever, right? Like, this is a dedicated, separate combination of the five zords that does not take away from the main Megazord, nor the individual components, but makes this wonderful behemoth. And I mean, it's huge. Like, the reason why it's not on the display all the time is because it's massive. I mean, from head to tail there, that's nearly a foot. And then the wingspan on top of that. And I love that the Phoenix gets to ride it. It's kind of similar to how the um, Centaurus Wolf Megazord has a riding mode. And you can even, like, pose this thing because you can hunch it down so you got a more natural riding stance. The tail sort of sticks up in the air a little bit. But, you know, you can do that. And the arms from the Taurus, which are already articulated, also articulate, so you get some extra posability out of a Megazord combination. Uh, that's just kind of amazing. And overall, I mean, this is just the coolest thing. And I know it's the coolest thing because in Super Mega Force, when they did an homage Zord to Mystic Force, it was the Dragon Mode. What a surprise. But no, this is absolutely incredible, and I don't necessarily have to rush to put this back on the shelf, and I think I'm going to leave it in Dragon Mode for now. And that'll close out this list. The Titan Megazord is absolutely my number one favorite Megazord of all time. So that does it for my list, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, leave a comment, tell me your own list, hit subscribe and notification bell to keep up with future uploads on the channel. Also, be sure to check out Hero Club at hero-club.com for Power Engine news and more, and my awesome graphic designer on Twitter at DarkLaw643. And until next time, this is Sanout saying goodbye.